I'm currently driving to go get the S2000 tuned. And as I was leaving, I noticed that there were like spin out marks and spin out like it, somebody crashed in our front yard. And it, it, I wanted to look into this. I'm so mad that I can't because I'm in my truck right now. So I texted my wife and was like, babe, I think somebody crashed. Uh, in our front yard. Will you check one of our cameras and see? <laughs> and so a few minutes goes by, <laughs> she goes, it was a Mustang. Now I haven't seen the clip yet. I think she's trying to get a good clip. Oh, is that a Supra? So I'm waiting for her to reply. And I don't even know what time it was. For all I know, it could have been last night when I was playing Tarkov. And I mean, you know, if you play Tarkov, you know how that goes. He's thick, yeah, I'm coming. He's on top of me. Dude, I am so juicy. He hit me from behind. <laughs> He domed me, bro. You know how that goes. So I'm waiting for her to send me the clip. The irony of it being a Mustang honestly completes it. And to be honest, guys, I don't even think it'd be video or post worthy even uh, if it was not. So I'm in traffic, so this is a good time to stop. She just sent it to me. Oh, it was this morning. So we have this curve, this corner right in front of our house that everybody loves to try and take faster than they should. At some point, I've been waiting for this to happen because like, there's like a Nissan Titan that's like straight piped. Deep. So, oh, it's, it's a, such an ugly sound. He gets around this corner, he just floors it every time, disrespecting anybody with ears around him. <laughs> oh no! Oh, he's in the ditch! Oh my god! I can't need I want to zoom in, but I can't. I only have one hand. All right, I can't wait to get home. Um, I have another video to make today, so th this will probably be uploaded after. <laughs> So at the risk of sounding conceited, I do live in a fairly big house and it's very noticeable. A lot of people know who I am too. So they know that that's Evan Shanks' house or even if they're just locals, they see cars outside of my house all the time. And so naturally car people's responses is, oh, it's a car guy's house. He probably wants to hear my straight piped thing, uh, which I don't. What people have done since I have moved here is they see my house, they see, you know, oh, hey look, big garage, cool cars out front. He definitely wants to hear my car. And so they'll go around this corner and as soon as it opens up, you just full send it. Can I blame them? No, they're having fun. So it's kind of a combo of, well, there's a turn and now I want to floor it and oh, Evan's house. Can I blame them? No, it's certainly gotten old and I have had to call out a few people for like doing two-step deliberately right in front of my house. Like I have a, I have a baby, you can't be doing that now. It happens, okay? People floored in this one spot. Well, <laughs> it didn't work out in this person's favor. So let's recap and let's go over it. I really, <laughs> I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys this. Before we continue with this video, today's video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. A lot of you guys know Helix, and they are a huge supporter of the channel, and I personally absolutely love their mattresses. And one thing I love is that all of you guys that have tried them have loved them too. And if you don't know about Helix, if this is the first time you, you're hearing about them, Helix Sleep is an amazing, incredible brand of mattresses and sleep goodies. And what kind of diversifies them and makes them different from other mattress brands is not only the quality, but they are not just a brick and mortar retailer. They sell incredibly comfortable mattresses that you can buy from the comfort of your own home. I love Helix because when you go to their site and you can use my link to do this and t test it out, it's pretty fun. You take a quiz and they actually, after a questionnaire based on like, are you a side sleeper, back sleeper, stomach sleeper, upside down sleeper, under the mattress sleeper, <laughs> you answer a bunch of questions and they'll figure out a mattress that fits perfect for you. We personally use the Moonlight Lux and it's been fantastic. My sleep has drastically changed. I Absolutely love it, super comfortable. And we came from a pretty high quality mattress before. If you decide to buy one, something amazing about Helix Sleep is not only can you buy it from the comfort of your home, but they don't charge you to ship it to your door. It shows up at your doorstep in a box, you unbox it, it kind of like inflates, it's pretty fun. It goes whoop, and voila, you have an amazing new mattress at your house. A couple more cool things about them. They offer flexible payment plans, and that's super important for some people. If you want, financing options or anything of the sorts, they do offer that. They also have a 10 year warranty and they have a 100 night sleep trial to where if you don't, for some reason, like the mattress or if maybe you wanna switch it out, it doesn't fit your preference and you wanna change, they will cover shipping back and you'll get your money back guaranteed. There is a quiz you can take or you can go browse the link I have for you right here. I can save you up to $200 off and get two free pillows and that's pretty cool. They're fantastic people and they've been a huge supporter of the channel. So do me a favor, at least click that link I've got for you in the description and check them out. Now let's get on back to the video. Listen, there are two cars in the world that when you buy them, you waive your rights to privacy when you mess up on a public road. One of those is a Nissan Altima. The other is, you guessed it, a 
Ford Mustang. Sorry, not sorry, but you guys have kind of earned it over the years. Ooh, he freaking chipped the curb. Oh, he had to have like destroyed a wheel. Oh, he actually moved. Oh my God, he actually like moved the whole, whatever this thing is. Okay, so it is just a calm, quaint morning here at the Shanks Cave. Kind of rainy, chill vibes. <laughs> Uh, let's go. I want you guys to see this. Oh man, I've probably already watched this like uh, at least 50 times. So my laughs are, are mostly gone at this point. Here we go. Oh, uh oh, that's when he knew. This man or woman, his, his heart dropped. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever, m men, I'm talking to you men out there, I don't know, there's there's times where you you know you've crossed a barrier, you've crossed a line and your, your heart sinks down to your nuts. It's a feeling. And if you've never felt it, then you don't do dumb enough stuff. And, whoa! Look at this water. Kicked up so much water. So this is kind of like, my first initial thought, actually, let's go back. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have you guys watch the whole thing. So here's from the beginning. He's just like, he just sits there. <laughs> okay, so my my initial thoughts on this were the guy, the guy or girl, he, he, she, they, them, whatever, probably had bald tires, right? I mean, give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they weren't being silly, but I haven't watched the rest of this clip that we're about to. So here we go. Whoop, boom. It wasn't until I walked out later Right around here, that first initial impact, that initial impact right there, he hits, there's a concrete like, it's not a manhole, but it's something that's covering up like city sewage or something. Hits this concrete thing that you'll see here in a second when I go back out there. So that wheel's probably not, it was probably holding on for dear life or the dude got lucky as hell or he's got some really messed up suspension components, but just goes. <laughs> He's just like, oh crap, what I gotta what am I gonna tell my dad? My mom's gonna kill me. I was just trying to I was just trying to be sick in front of Evan's house and I'm freaking clearing at this angle. <laughs> but no context to just shoo the Tokyo drift. <gasps> if it wasn't a Mustang, it wouldn't be half as funny. And I mean, who knows what's going through this guy's brain at this point. And I didn't see him. Here's the funny thing, okay guys? This happened, so yesterday, as I started off the video, uh, I went to Trackstar and Austin, the guy who does some of the mechanical work at Trackstar, was coming to my house to pick up an, uh, a, a timing chain tensioner. Literally shows up two minutes after this man does this. Woman, whatever, doesn't matter. This dude's like, all right, should I call my dad? Run away and keep driving, never stop? Sits here for literally so long. What's going through this? Oh, he's going into park or he's going in. Or he, okay, it's an automatic. So if you, you guys catch that, let's go back here. Anytime you see those, uh, those pretty little reverse lights turn on before you go forward, that's how you know man's is driving an auto. So here's the thing. I thought the whole time this guy, I'm just gonna keep saying guy, whatever general term, sorry, get over it. This guy had bald tires. I thought he had bald tires. That was my initial thought. But then I watched this. This dude, this guy can't have bald tires. He just jeeped it the hell out of there, zero issues. And he's like, oh God, I'm just gonna drive like a responsible human being, God. Thank you for letting me survive today. Who knows, maybe he crashed further down the road because there's another turn that's further down. I wanted to, I wish I, I mean, I, listen guys, I would have helped the guy if, if I saw it happen, but I literally, and I'm not kidding, I think I walked to my front doorstep to give this guy my stuff right here as he was pulling away. And I don't specifically remember a Mustang leaving. This happened at the very beginning was 9.24 a.m. And I remember specifically getting a text from him at 9.25 as I was eating breakfast. And I was at the front door at like 9.27 cause he had a 9.30 ETA and I had a thing in hand. I was looking out my window yeah, one more time for the sake of comedy. Man's having a good time. It's rainy. I just watched Tokyo Drift. Boom. Yeet! Boom, right there. Ba, 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 ba. Dude. Yeah, I think he just overpowered it. I think he was trying to do something slick. And um, physics said no. You wanna argue that they had bald tires? I have a clip for you right here. Even my Evo. All-wheel drive, any of my all-wheel drive cars in the rain could not get up that. So this man had some fresh, decent, all-season tires to get his ass up that little that little berm right there. Honestly, that made my day. And listen, if the driver's watching this right now, 
It's okay. It happens. To the, to, it happens to the best of us. I crashed my 350Z street drifting in an abandoned place one time and bent every arm under the rear. It's, a, it's, it's what happens, you know what I mean? But that is funny and it's on camera. And you own a Mustang, so you've waived your rights to privacy, privacy when you crash. Now the Mustang that crashed, I'm pretty sure I see fairly often, which means he's a commoner on this road, probably likes to floor it around this corner, I don't know. So I think the consensus is, man's tried to pull a slick one right there and and physics said, no, sir. Point is, ladies and gentlemen, respect the law of physics if I have anything uh, helpful or useful to tell you guys today. That can happen in a front-wheel drive car, an all-wheel drive car, believe it or not, you guys who, uh, who are the Forza experts out there and think that all-wheel drive makes you invincible. Uh, that can happen to anything and anyone, whether you're under throttle or not. So be careful on the road and don't be a show-off. And when it snows, just remember, you're not Ken Block. If you guys are new to the channel, I do give you guys daily advice. And uh, you know what, the last thing I'll say is don't overestimate yourself. Estimate yourself. <laughs> no, but seriously, the way I can relate that to real life, and this is not like my, all love to the guy that crashed. I hope you, everything is good. This does not have to do with driving necessarily, but when you, you feel like you've got everything figured out, when you get to the point to where you don't think you can learn anymore, and you get to the point to where you think you know more than everybody else, that's actually the most dangerous point you can be. You can never stop learning and you can never stop being better and getting better. The moment that you think you got it figured out, life gives you a rude, wake up call, learns you some humility. Don't overestimate yourself guys and just understand that in any case, there is no end to what you can learn and how much better you can get. Don't be a know-it-all. You know what happens to know-it-alls? You crash. <laughs> you crash and burn in real life, not driving, of course. You guys have an amazing day. Um, I, you know, I'm a guy who likes to make light out of any situation and uh, obviously that dude was okay. Drove off, is totally fine. So uh, don't buy a Mustang, guys. You sign your life away. You have no rights to privacy after that. Hey, have an amazing day, guys. Love you guys so much. Take it easy. Make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on. I'll, I'll see you guys next video. Peace. Hey, I have two videos for you guys to watch and it helps me a ton if you continue to watch them. It's a weird algorithm thing. But just make sure you also subscribe, turn those notifications on, make sure that I'm actually in your sub list because YouTube's big silly and make sure you have a good day. Bye.